Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. It's Sunday evening, February 7th. To all those who are in the United States and watch the Super Bowl, I hope you enjoyed that. And just one quick order of business, the sub-channel that I've created to provide some more in-depth analysis on some of the more aggressive forms of investing and trading that I do from time to time. The name of that channel is iGold Power. If anyone wants to take a look at that, I will have a link below. And you'll see in this video where I'm going to divert some of that analysis so that this video doesn't get too long. We can focus mostly on the action in the physical gold and silver markets. So the markets are really starting to pick up steam here. It's, uh, it's exciting to watch. And I thank all those people who have been following this analysis for the last few months as we were really watching those lows develop back in November and December. And now we're seeing the rise out of these lows. And we can see here, for example, the change in the dynamics of the market. This is almost like a sentiment change. If you look at what happened, for example, we've had a strong rise over the last few days. And then on Friday, we had a continued rise through the early morning hours in Asia and London, and then the sell-off when the New York market opened at 8 a.m., right, when the COMEX opened. So there was a sell-off, but notice the difference in the sentiment of the market. Dips are being bought here in the short run. So this is one of those changes that you start to see when a market is shifting as opposed to these sell-offs resulting in just continued weakness through the end of the day and perhaps more weakness in the next several days, this sell-off here of $15 from $11.60 to $11.45 was bought and exceeded by another $15 by the end of the day. So that's the kind of thing that we're looking at here and we're saying, all right, this market is starting to attract some new attention. Looking at this from our six month time frame, we had this short term channel that was forming here out of the lows in December and look just breaking even above our short term channel. So a very strong move here. We still have to respect this lower trend line of the channel to be looking if there is a sell off to be looking for the support to be coming somewhere above this rising trend line. And to back this up, to look at this from the two years, you can just see the very strong move here. Now, as far as my work goes, as far as an analyst and an investor, what I'm seeing here is that I can't make any short term calls at this juncture. So I have to call it as I see it. So we've had a really strong move. And clearly, this is, you know, almost on the four week time frame, starting to move almost vertical. Now, we know that won't continue or else it'll just keep rising vertical forever. So we know there will be a correction. There will be some sort of a sell off, even if it's only for a couple days at some point here. But I have no way to judge when that's going to come except to say that we have a significant horizontal resistance here right around 1190, which was the high from October. And then we have an even more important resistance line, which is the upper end of this trend line, which comes in here right around 1220. So within this $30 region, looks like a very logical place where the gold market is going to find some selling begin to emerge. And then we will have to watch, we will have to see how strong is this move? Is it just going to smash through this trend line right away? Don't have that information yet. But we do have some early warning indicators, we are looking at the mining complex quickly in this video, we talked about this bottoming wedge formation last time, and look at it right there. I really want to highlight this. This sector has risen 
in the last two weeks. That's 4-0. Okay, so this is, when we see a move like this, with this kind of volume, this is not a fake move here. This is a very strong indicator that the sector as a whole, not just the mining complex, but the metals are approaching some significant bottoms. So, so again, on the iGold power channel, we have some in-depth analysis on what I expect for the mining complex over the next few weeks and few months, if that's something that interests you. For the purposes of the metals, just know that we're having that early indicator signal. So the same thing in the silver market. Really interesting um, action here as opposed to the sell-off continuing once again. So we had about a 20 cent drop here in the middle of the day on Friday only to recover and finish higher than that level. So new buyers were entering here at the end of the day saying we don't want to wait. So where does this put us? $15. We're going to skip the short run and go right to the three-year slide for silver here. I've titled this silver ready to rock question mark. Why is it a question mark still? Because we are basically right at this line in the sand that I've been talking about this $15 level right as we speak. So we're watching this very closely. Now, if it's going to break through this, it will do so in no uncertain terms. You won't have to question that. It won't be a 5 or 10 or 15 cent struggling move above this. We will see a surge higher, perhaps 50 cents or a dollar to break this line as the initial move. Just quickly zooming this in so we'll see that. We would see this perhaps even get up all the way to $16 when it's going to break. However, I want to say that if the gold market tops out here in this region and silver does not break this line in the next couple of days, we have to be prudent and we have to say, let's let the market tell us what it's going to do next, which would involve some coming back at least to the vicinity of this line here, right above 1450. And then we want to see that hold. Could it sort of wind down here just for a week or two, hit this line, and then blast through our downtrend? Absolutely. Could it even come back down into the wedge some further and make a nominal new low? That is still possible. Looking increasing increasingly less likely that that will happen. But until this pattern breaks, as someone who focuses on technical analysis a lot, I have to respect the pattern still. So we have the early warning indicator. That analysis is on the iGold Power Channel. The lines in the sand, 1220 and $15. I just wanted to end this on a bit of a light note. If you remember in the last video, I was talking about Citibank. I just found this hilarious. Talking about Citibank and the problems that they've had since the Fed rate hike. And wouldn't you know it, on Friday, after I released that video, Citibank itself comes out and says, the global economy is trapped in a death spiral. So I think this is funny because the truth is that the global economy is not trapped in a death spiral. The global economy will be fine, even if there is a recession or a depression. Life will carry on. People will continue to live. People will continue to have joy and things to live for in their lives. If anything, it's Citibank that might be caught in a death spiral at this moment. So here they are trying to kind of scare people and perhaps get the Fed to help them out at some point in the near future. I would not be surprised if they receive another bailout at some point over the next year or two. Maybe someone should tell them 
to buy some gold and silver. Thank you for joining me. I will see you on Wednesday evening, everyone. Have a nice Sunday night.